Welcome to Full Focus World, reveals 10 of the most mysterious and intriguing secrets about the sinking of the Titanic. These secrets include the true cause of the ship, missing passengers, hidden cargo, and more. By watching this video, you will learn things you didn't know about the Titanic and discover the truth behind this historical event. Here are the 10 most mysterious secrets. Number 10. Titanic's Legacy the Titanic's legacy is not only a tragic tale of human loss and heroism, but also a source of scientific discovery and cultural fascination. The Titanic is still one of the most famous ships in history. Its sinking is a reminder of the dangers of the sea, and it has inspired countless books, movies, and songs. One of the most mysterious secrets of the Titanic is the fate of its wreck, which was not found until 1985 by a joint French-American expedition led by Robert Ballard. The wreck lies in two pieces on the ocean floor, covered by rust-colored formations called rustic less, which are created by iron-eating microorganisms. The rustic less are slowly consuming the ship, and some features, such as the captain's bathtub, have already disappeared. Another mysterious secret of the Titanic is the role of its construction materials in its sinking. Some scientists have suggested that low-quality steel or weak rivets may have contributed to the ship's hull breaking apart after hitting the iceberg. The impact produced a series of thin gashes and brittle fractures in the hull plates, allowing water to flood in and sink the ship. The exact quality and strength of the steel and rivets are still debated by experts. Number 9. Titanic's Discovery The Titanic's discovery was one of the most mysterious secrets of the 20th century. For decades, people wondered where the ship had gone after it hit an iceberg and sank in 1912. The Titanic was the largest and most luxurious ocean liner of its time, and it was widely believed to be unsinkable. More than 1,500 people died in the disaster, making it one of the deadliest peacetime maritime accidents in history. The Titanic was not discovered until 1985 by a joint American-French team led by Robert Ballard and Jean-Louis Michel. They used a remote-controlled submersible called Argo to scan the ocean floor with sonar. When they saw a large object on the screen, they sent another submersible called Jason to take pictures. They were amazed to see the Titanic's bow and stern lying about half a mile apart. The ship had broken in two as it sank, and the debris field covered an area of about five square miles. The discovery of the Titanic sparked renewed interest in the ship and its sinking. Many artifacts were recovered from the wreck site and displayed in museums and exhibitions around the world. Some of the items included dishes, luggage, clothing, jewelry, and personal belongings of the passengers and crew. The Titanic also inspired books, movies, documentaries, and musicals that told the stories of the people who perished or survived. The Titanic remains a fascinating subject of exploration and research to this day, as new discoveries and theories emerge about what happened on that fateful night. Number 8. Titanic's Curse the Titanic's curse is one of the most mysterious secrets of maritime history. Some people believe that the Titanic was doomed from the start because it was named after the ancient goddess of the sea, Titanic, who was said to be jealous and vengeful. According to some legends, Titanic cursed anyone who dared to sail on her namesake ship and caused it to sink on its maiden voyage. Another version of the curse involves a mummy that was supposedly on board the Titanic. The mummy belonged to an Egyptian priestess who had a powerful curse on her tomb. Anyone who disturbed her rest would face death and disaster. Some people claim that the mummy was being transported to New York by a British collector and that it unleashed its curse on the ship and its passengers. A third version of the curse relates to a necklace that was worn by one of the Titanic survivors, Rose DeWitt Bucator. The necklace, known as the Heart of the Ocean, was a blue diamond that was originally owned by Louis XVI of France. It was said to be cursed by the French Revolution and that anyone who possessed it would suffer misfortune and tragedy. Some people believe that the necklace brought bad luck to Rose and her lover Jack Dawson, who died in the sinking. Number 7. White Star Line's Cover-Up One of the most mysterious secrets of the Titanic disaster is the possible cover-up by the White Star Line, the company that owned the ship. The White Star Line was eager to protect its reputation and avoid paying huge compensation claims after the tragedy. As a result, they may have tried to hide or distort some of the details of the sinking. For example, they may have downplayed the number of people who died, or they may have tried to conceal the fact that the ship was traveling at an excessive speed. 
According to some sources, the White Star Line insured the Titanic for the equivalent of $133 million in today's currency. After the accident, cargo insurance policies covered almost all of the property claims totaling $9.42 million. However, the company still faced lawsuits from passengers and their families who demanded compensation for their losses and suffering. The White Star Line may have tried to reduce its liability by minimizing the extent of the disaster and blaming external factors such as the weather or the lack of nearby ships. Another aspect of the possible cover-up is the role of Bruce Ismay, the managing director of the International Mercantile Marine Company IMM, and president and chairman of the White Star Line. Ismay was on board the Titanic when it sank, and he controversially escaped on one of the lifeboats. Some witnesses claim that he pressured Captain Smith to increase the speed of the ship in order to make headlines and impress his boss, J. P. Morgan. Ismay may have also influenced the testimony of some of the surviving crew members who were employed by his company. He may have instructed them to avoid mentioning any negligence or misconduct by the White Star Line or its officers. Number 6. Missing Millionaires Several wealthy passengers were on board the Titanic, including John Jacob Astor IV and Benjamin Guggenheim. However, their bodies were never found. Some people believe that they may have survived the sinking and escaped in a lifeboat, while others believe that they died in the disaster. One of the most intriguing mysteries of the Titanic is the fate of these prominent men, who were among the richest and most influential people of their time. They had different reasons for traveling on the doomed ship. Astor was returning from his honeymoon with his young wife, Madeline. Guggenheim was on a business trip with his mistress, Leontine Aubart, and others, such as Isidore Strauss, the co-owner of Macy's department store, and George Widener, a Philadelphia banker, were simply enjoying a luxury vacation. Their stories have inspired many speculations and theories over the years. Some claim that they bribed their way into a lifeboat or disguised themselves as women or crew members to get on board. Others suggest that they were killed by an explosion or a falling object before they could reach the deck. Some even believe that they faked their deaths and assumed new identities in another country. However, none of these hypotheses have been proven or disproven by any conclusive evidence. Number 5. Fate of the Passengers the fate of the passengers who boarded the Titanic on its maiden voyage in 1912 is one of the most tragic stories in maritime history. The ship, which was touted as unsinkable, collided with an iceberg in the North Atlantic and sank in less than three hours. Out of the 2,224 people on board, only 706 survived. The sinking of the Titanic shocked the world and sparked a series of inquiries, reforms, and commemorations. The exact number of people who died in the Titanic disaster is still unknown, as there were discrepancies in the passenger and crew lists, and some people may have used false names or aliases. Some estimates put the death toll at over 1,500 people, while others say it was closer to 1,200. The majority of the victims were men, as women and children were given priority to board the lifeboats. The lifeboats were also not filled to capacity, and some were launched before others arrived. Many people died from drowning or exposure to the freezing water. The survivors of the Titanic faced many hardships and challenges after the sinking. Some suffered from physical injuries, hypothermia, or trauma. Some lost their loved ones, belongings, or livelihoods. Some faced legal disputes or public scrutiny over their actions during the disaster. Some tried to forget the ordeal and move on with their lives, while others dedicated themselves to honoring the memory of those who perished. Some survivors became famous for their stories, while others remained anonymous or changed their identities. Number 4. Crew's Actions The question of whether the crew of the Titanic could have done more to save passengers has been debated for over a century. Some people believe that the crew made crucial mistakes that cost lives, while others argue that they did the best they could under the circumstances. One of the criticisms of the crew's actions is that they did not lower the lifeboats soon enough. The Titanic had 20 lifeboats with a capacity of 1,178 people, but only 705 people survived in them. Some of the lifeboats were lowered half-empty or even less, because the crew did not fill them up with passengers or did not allow third-class passengers to board them. Some people believe that if the crew had lowered the lifeboats earlier and filled them up more efficiently, more people could have escaped. Another criticism of the crew's actions is that they did not tell passengers to stay in their cabins instead of going up on deck. 
Some people believe that this would have prevented panic and chaos on board and would have given the crew more time and space to organize the evacuation. Some people also believe that staying in the cabins would have kept passengers warmer and safer from falling objects or water. However, others argue that staying in the cabins would have been a death sentence as many of them were flooded or crushed by the sinking ship. Number 3. Lack of Lifeboats One of the most tragic aspects of the Titanic disaster was the lack of lifeboats. The Titanic only had enough lifeboats for about half of its passengers. This was because the ship's owners believed that it was unsinkable and that there would be no need for more lifeboats. They also wanted to avoid cluttering the deck with too many lifeboats, which they thought would spoil the aesthetic appeal of the ship. However, this decision proved to be fatal when the Titanic struck an iceberg on the night of April 14, 1912. The ship began to sink rapidly and many passengers and crew members were unable to reach the lifeboats. Some of the lifeboats were launched half-empty, while others were overcrowded. Many people were left behind on the sinking ship or jumped into the freezing water in a desperate attempt to survive. The lack of lifeboats also contributed to the high death toll among the lower-class passengers. The lifeboats were mostly located on the upper decks, where the first-class and second-class passengers had easier access to them. The third-class passengers, who were mostly immigrants and poor travelers, had to make their way through a maze of corridors and staircases to reach the lifeboats. Many of them were trapped behind locked gates or barred doors, which were meant to prevent them from mingling with the upper-class passengers. By the time they reached the deck, most of the lifeboats were gone. Number 2. Ship's Speed One of the factors that may have influenced the sinking of the Titanic was the ship's speed. The Titanic was traveling at an unusually high speed when it hit the iceberg, about 22 knots or 25 miles per hour. Some experts believe that the ship was going too fast to avoid the iceberg and that this contributed to the disaster. The reason why the Titanic was going so fast is not clear. Some historians suggest that the captain, Edward Smith, was trying to impress the passengers and the public with a fast maiden voyage. Others claim that he was under pressure from the White Star Line, the company that owned the Titanic, to arrive in New York ahead of schedule. Some also speculate that he was unaware of the danger of icebergs in the area or that he trusted the ship's design to withstand any collision. However, some experts argue that the speed of the Titanic was not unusual for that time and that it did not cause the sinking. They point out that other ships in the same route were traveling at similar speeds and that the Titanic had enough time to steer away from the iceberg if it had been spotted earlier. They also note that the ship's speed did not affect the size of the hole in its hull, which was determined by the angle and shape of the iceberg. They suggest that other factors, such as poor quality of steel, lack of lifeboats, and human errors, were more important in causing the tragedy. Number 1. Sinking was predicted. In the months leading up to the Titanic's maiden voyage, there were several reports of icebergs in the North Atlantic. Some people even predicted that a ship would hit an iceberg and sink. However, the Titanic's owners and crew dismissed these warnings. They believed that the Titanic was unsinkable and that it had enough lifeboats for everyone on board. They also thought that the wireless radio would help them communicate with other ships in case of emergency. The sinking was inevitable. On the night of April 14, 1912, the Titanic was sailing at full speed through a dark and foggy sea. The lookout spotted an iceberg ahead, but it was too late to avoid a collision. The iceberg tore a long gash in the Titanic's hull, flooding several compartments and causing the ship to tilt. The captain ordered the crew to send distress signals and prepare the lifeboats. But there were not enough lifeboats for all the passengers and crew, and many of them were launched half-empty. The sinking was tragic. As the Titanic sank deeper into the water, many people were trapped inside or jumped into the freezing ocean. Some of them were rescued by other ships that arrived at the scene, but most of them died of hypothermia or drowning. The Titanic sank completely at 2.20 a.m., taking with it more than 1,500 lives. It was one of the worst maritime disasters in history and a shocking reminder of the limits of human technology and arrogance. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Follow us for more videos. Thanks for watching.